Hello and welcome back guys. So it's been long since we are creating our discord bots, right? And like we created this bot with JavaScript, but don't you think it kind of sucks? I mean like JavaScript is cool, but why don't we use TypeScript this time? I mean like TypeScript is quite an amazing language. So let's begin real quick. Well, I will create a folder. I hope I can and let's name it something cool. Uh, discord bot in TypeScript because we love it uh how to type love man i don't have love so anyways now we are in that folder let's begin real quick so now our thing is installed now we have to set up the stuff real quick so i will start by opening the terminal and then we will do npm init dash y so we are just initializing a small module and then we can do tsc init it will set up a simple ts config file but you know i already set up one so i'm just going to copy paste that thing right here and apart from that we have to install few dependencies i mean like some dev dependencies like this typescript one and this types one for node and i think we will install dot env as well i guess why not and by the way guys we also have to install few more cool things well first of all of course i mean like just give it a second to download and then we have to install discord js indeed and then we have to install this node mon you might ask what the heck is node mon it is a cool thing which run your javascript or typescript but it will automatically restart so now i will tell you why we installed that so by the way if you don't know typescript go check out my first video i will just link it in the description or somewhere and you know it has the basics of typescript so it will be quite easy for you to you know learn the stuff so first of all we are going to make a script and i will name it uh, dev it is like for development when you are creating the thing we'll do node mod space source slash index dot ts that will be our main file and now let me set up few more thingies after dev we have our build it is like for creating the build we will do tsc then we can probably do node space that location uh, well instead of source it will be build and then index dot js and i guess this is it all right so i will just replace all of this with this so now our target is ES6, like to which JavaScript format we're going to convert. And then we the module is just common JS and the out directory is build. And I think you remember this build thing right here. And then we have our source. It is the main directory and let's create it real quick. And then it, the thing is always going to be strict. And these are few things you can remove them. They don't really matter. I mean, they do matter like for not having unused stuff. We will get an error if we have unused variables. And then it is ES module interop for setting up the exporting and stuff like that. And then we have skip library check. It is just for ignoring that .d.ts file, like the definition file. And now let's start by creating an index file. So I will just do index.ts. It will be our main file, of course. So I will start by importing some stuff from our Discord.js module or package or whatever you call it. Discord.js. So we need our client. I guess that's all we need for now. So client is equals to new client and we need to provide intents, uh, intents, it will be an array of stuff. Uh, how to type, dude, I can't even spell intents, man. I kind of sucks at this, but what do we need? Well, to be honest, right now we need nothing, but I will just pass guilds for now. And then we are just going to do client dot login. So guys, we are going to do our basic setup, right? So first of all, we will need to get our token, but how the hell we are supposed to do that? well don't worry we installed our dot m thing so we can do that easily we will just use this dot m thing and holy shit what the heck i just did and we will just run the config function and we are done so well we are not done yet to be honest we just have to create a file called dot m and then we have our token and we have to pass our token right here so i will just do it later on and i guess our simple bot is done we can just do client dot on ready it will say stuff like log ayo nerd i'm alive so it will do this our simple bot is ready to be honest but we will set a few more things like in our source folder we will have an events folder and then we will have one for commands and then we will have few more like first one for models i mean like you might ask what the heck is a model but I will tell you about it, just give me some time and we will have one file index.t.ts It will be used for creating interface or types like for example we can have something like interface command So it will be an interface of our command, it will be like name is string and quite other stuff like run will be in function You know a lot of shit 
I will just create each and everything slowly slowly but in this video we are going to set up each and everything I mean like we are going to create the base and now you might ask what the heck is model it is just something related to database we are going to need database real soon so I'm going to set up that in the main video as well you just have to do npm i mongoose and then just do import from mongoose mongoose is not in this registry dude I can't even spell mongoose but <laughs> now we have now we will get installed just wait for a second and then we will export the mongoose client there it is so now what we have to do is we will do const mongo is equals to new mongoose and then we will do mongo dot connect and then we will provide this url process dot n dot uri so now let me go to the end and we will pass uri so it will be equals to your mongodb uri and guys you don't know about database i have a video for it where it will cover each and everything you need to start and it will also tell you how to get the mongo uri and here we have this error argument of this type is not a thing you know what i'm saying but don't worry i can easily fix this by doing this so now it is like I'm saying to mongoose that bro this thing is a string don't worry about it and guess what after then we can use the dot then function and we can just do this wait a second I will do this and let me just log database connected successfully so I guess our database is connected and our bot is connected so you can see we are done we have everything ready to go and I think our bot is almost done. Let me just type. Uh, we have to do npm run dev. And we should not get any error to be honest. So let's check out what will happen now. So you can see it logged. Nothing yet. We have to wait for it. Oh, ah, we have a issue right here. We never filled the dot and file. So wait for a second. I mean like you see this error. It is because an invalid token was provided. So just let me fill these dot and thingies. And then... I'll be back. Alright guys, I will type RS and the thing is restarted now. And let's hope for not getting any damn error. Because error really sucks. Uh, I'm not going to lie, they sucks. So let's wait for it. And database connected successfully and bam. The nerd is alive. I mean the bot is alive. And just for your surety, I will show you something. Let me open my Discord screen. So you can see this nerd right here, it is alive. It is online. And if I just close the bot, it will not get offline immediately but yeah so guys you know what we are done with this fall with this video and please just wait along in the next video we are going to create handlers for the event and for the commands and stuff like that so i guess thanks a lot for watching and by the way if you are really interested in learning something then feel free to tell me what you want to learn because uh, i will i will love to make a video for a single person instead of making a video uh, in which no one is interested you know what i'm saying so yeah thanks a lot for watching and bye and yeah i don't know what to say man